3D bar chart in Tableau is another artistic way to represent the percentage. This chart seems to be quite complex, but actually it is not. And in this tutorial, I am going to talk about how to create 3D bar chart using 3D shapes and data densification technique. If you need more information about data densification technique, then please refer to my another tutorial on data densification and I have put the link in the description below. So without any further delays, let's get started. Welcome back, this is Kirpreet from DataWiz Canvas and in today's tutorial, we are gonna learn about how to create 3D shape bar chart in Tableau. For this, we will first of all connect to Tableau desktop and from there, we have to connect to the data set. And before we connect to the data set, let me show you what data set we are using in this scenario. So for this example, we are using path where we are plotting the points between zero to 100 so as I mentioned earlier, data densification technique we are using in this example, which helps us to artificially plot multiple points between two existing points. So in this case, we'll be plotting 100 points between zero to 100. And we will be using the profit data set where we are showing the profit ratio for all these products. As you can see, 80% for chairs, we have received the profit, 70% for table, 55 for stationery, 54 pencils, and so on. So let's go to Tableau Desktop and connect to this data set. So I have saved it in Excel spreadsheet, so I will click on Excel spreadsheet. I will go to this one and connect to Workbook 1, which I have saved the Excel data set in. So once we are here, I will bring the profit into the data table section, and I will open that table. And here I will drag the path table to it and we'll do a Cartesian join by just creating a join calculation. So I will put one in the join calculation on the left hand side and I will do the same on the right hand side. So once I do that, what it will do is for each product category, so for chair, it will create two rows with zero and hundred path value. So what we are gonna do in this scenario is simply artificially create points between 0 and 100. So I will show you in a second how to do that. So first of all, we will click on the sheet and in here we will create a path bend. So I will click on, right click on the path and go to create and create bend. And in this case, I will keep the size of the bend as one. And then I will be creating another calculated field, which I will give the name index. And in this case, what I will be doing, I will be creating a calculation where I will say 100 minus index function. So what it will do is basically, it will plot the x-axis value from 100 to zero. I will show you in a second what it means. And then the another calculation which we need to create is for the profit ratio value. Profit ratio value. And in this we need Windows maximum value. And then we will need here, in this case, the maximum of the existing value, what we can see in the table. So we will say profit ratio. So as you can see in this Excel spreadsheet, what is the maximum value in the entire table? So in this case, it's 80. So it will give us Windows maximum, the max of these values. It will give us 80 in this case. So let's go back here and I will create another calculation in this case, which will be a row calculation. So what it will do is I'm saying if the index value which we created is less than or equal to the profit ratio value we created, then give me index value else give me null value and so what it will do is it will just give us the index value for all the values where the value of the profit ratio is less than 
where the value of the profit ratio is greater than the index, so give us all the index value. So I will show you once we start plotting it what exactly it means. So the spelling was incorrect, so I was trying to fix it, but it's the name of this field, so I will just rename and fix the spelling. So that's fine. So now let's let's build the 3D chart. So let's first of all change the marks to shapes and I will bring product into the column shelf and I will bring product into shapes as well and then I will bring our path pen into row shelf and I will check it's showing the show missing value which it is then I will drag the path field into the detail mark shelf and then I will bring the rows into the row shelf and I will right click on that and say compute using path pen and you will see these five paths are created but with different shapes right and let me go back to the index calculation here and edit it and why I did 100 minus index because I wanted on the left hand side the values from 100 so let's say if I change it to just minus index right and you will see it did from 0 to minus 100 which I don't want I want from 100 to uh, 0 value so if I change it to 50 you will see what happens it starts from 50 to minus 50 because we are plotting 100 points so it's starting from 50 to minus 50 but in this case we want from 100 because our percentage value is from 100% right so the maximum is 100% and minimum is 0% so we want 100 minus index so I will do that and you will see in this one it's showing 80% and because it's a 3d shape you will see it's a little bit above that 80 mark because of the shape that's why sometimes it's not recommended to use 3d bar chart but it looks pretty cool so just a different way to show the percentage so let's try it out how it looks like so once we have all these shapes created I will just go to the shape shelf and I have already brought the custom cube shapes into my tabular repository and I will use all of these so in this case I will do cabinet of blue shape cube and I will select all of these separately and individually and select OK and you will start seeing it look pretty nice here and I will do the entire view and here you go you can see all these cubes are created now we need to do just a little bit of formatting I don't want to see headers I will remove uh, all the um, borders so I will remove the zero lines excess rulers and we'll do the same for the rows I don't want grid values grid lines and we'll bring the percentage in this case the profit ratio value I will bring it to the label and you can start seeing the values I will change that text first of all I will add percentage to it and I will increase the size let's do it 12 and choose the color maybe this one press ok and I want it to be at the top of the bar so we will do it this way and I will do a little bit of formatting on the font for the header I want to increase the font size and here you go that's how easy it is to create a 3d bar chart hope you guys like this session and feel free to drop me a message in the comments below and please subscribe to my channel if you like this video and look forward to see you guys again next time thank you